Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to check your Pokemon IVs in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Don't forget to leave a like, and let's get into this video. So when you open up your menu, go to your Pokemon, go to the boxes, and then start to view them, you can notice the only thing you can see are their HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, speed, nature, their ability, held item, and their moves. If you hit the plus button, you'll just have a picture and nothing else indicating what the Pokemon's IVs are. For those who don't know, Pokemon can have a max amount of six IVs, but there's no way to know what they are until you get this feature. So let's go ahead and get it. When you beat the champion Cynthia of this game, you're then going to have a credit scene and be able to fly over to Snowpoint City and access a boat that's gonna bring you to an island known as the Survival Island. So I'm flying over there and you're gonna follow me as we go down Snowpoint City, come down over here, and you're gonna see a guy right here and he's gonna ask you, do you wanna set sail? And you say, yes, you wanna go to the battle zone. So hop in his boat, don't worry, I believe it's safe. We arrive at the fight area. Now, once you arrive here, you can fly here on your map. So if you go to your map, check your map, you can just fly here directly if you have not yet and then follow me as we head over right to this top part and once you pop out you'll be in this big battle park area continue going north into this big building once in the building turn right and you're gonna find a guy with some science glasses and he's gonna say hmm you look something of an expert i'll bet you're just longing to know everything there is about pokemon right yes i can tell just by looking at you well you're in luck I'd like to give you a present that will let you see straight through to so Pokemon's innate strengths, aka the stuff they're born with. It's called a judge function. After selecting a Pokemon in a box, press the plus button or minus button to see its potential. With this, you will truly be an expert. After you get this judge feature, you're then going to open up your menu, click on Pokemon, go to the boxes, and then you'll be over to hover your Pokemon. And you'll see that when you hit the plus button, you'll have the view stats. And then there'll be another option if you hit plus again to see the judge feature. As you can see, my Feraligator has HP decent, attack decent, defense decent, special attack pretty good, special defense pretty good, and speed decent. On the screen here is a really good chart to show you exactly what the words are. So on this chart, you can see a bunch of judging statements being best, fantastic, very good, pretty good, decent, and no good. You can see that some of the words on the judging statement match the ones on my Feraligator. And as you can see, my Feraligator sucks because it doesn't have anything that's best or fantastic. Now, 31 is the number that causes the Pokemon to have the best stat, which makes that Pokemon have one IV. What people consider a perfect IV Pokemon is when they have 31, which will show up as best in multiple stats like HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. Some people go for six IVs, but that could really be a big waste of time, especially when it doesn't matter on a Pokemon that doesn't need it. For example, if I had a six IV Machop, special attack would not matter because my Machop is a physical attacker. So some people waste their time a lot in order to breed eggs and get Pokemon with six IV stats. So don't waste your time on Pokemon that don't need it. But if you're one of those people who like to just show off that they have a complete perfect Pokemon, by all means, do you. So let's take a look at some of the Pokemon I have besides this really bad for alligator. We have Krikatot, nothing here. Boozle, nothing good. I'm looking for best, best, best. We got one. We got attack best. So that's one IV in attack or Metatite being at the max 31 value. Going down here, we have a legendary Pokemon, Dialga. Dialga comes with three automatic IVs, HP, Special Attack, and Special Defense. I'm very excited that I did get it in Special Attack because Roar of Time is pretty sick. I hope this part made sense to you guys. If you don't understand, write something down in the comments below and I will try my best to answer you guys and explain it there. So there was a post on Reddit that showed this animation that started the battle very different when you enter the encounter. And I felt like I've seen this animation a couple of times. I thought it's maybe a glitch. Let me know if you guys also saw this animation. But apparently when it zooms in on the trainer, it signifies that the Pokemon that you're about to encounter has two guaranteed perfect IVs or two best IVs when you check the judge feature. So go ahead and check your Pokemon boxes or if you have any encounters, document them down what IVs the Pokemon has. 
let me know. I'm very interested. I have a Discord that you guys can message me in. It's, it's down in the description below, but that pretty much sums it up for this video. So if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And you don't want to miss videos like this covering all kinds of things that are in the Pokemon games. My name is Philly Beats You. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Happy hunting for those IVs. Peace.